hello, hello to all of my crabs, cancers. I am talking to each and every one of you all. This is Queen Amun Ra. Hopefully you all are having a great day on today. I know that you are because that's the intention you set. Let's get right into your reading. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below, along with my new channel. Yes, we have new content on that channel, so go check it out, Cancers. Go check it out. It's called the Knowledge Channel. The link is down below. Let's get right into your reading. The energy space has already been cleared. Let's get right into it let's get into it cancers all right so somebody is going through a tower moment cancer somebody is really going through it right now um, and it was it was karma that they created for themselves and I see a lot of you all focusing on yourselves right now focusing on self-care and self-love and protecting your mental health cancer like really protecting your mental health you know we've seen a lot of um, people harm themselves. Um, there's a lot of, you know, trigger warning, a lot of S words, you know, that's been happening. Um, just a lot of things that's going on. And I see, you know, you are in a very vulnerable space right now, but I just want to know that you are divinely protected cancers, because again, some of you all are like really focusing on being your own soulmates. And this is what you, this is what we all start out anyway, duality, right? But this is where I see a lot of people focusing on being their own soulmate. So this is really, really key. Things about, things about people around you are constantly being exposed, Cancer. And again, for you, like I said, this is where you want to tap into your divine masculine energy. Somebody, some, some people are close to you will continue to be exposed. And this time, I see you severing ties with them and making room for this. More money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the energy of money is just a tool. It really, really is a tool that people use to, in exchange for goods and services. So not, not that it's a priority for anybody, really. For some people it may be, but you all are the money sign for a reason. It's very, very, money is very attracted to you, but so are other energies very attracted to cancers because you all have that mothering energy. And this is what's going to, you all going to see very, very soon is that a lot of information, because we don't have any planets that are retrograde right now, so a lot of information is being downloaded into your spirit. Something happened with you all that felt like a scorpion sting, right? It was something, somebody was in a very passionate situation where it felt like a scorpion sting, but something about that person is going to be exposed again as we get closer and closer to the full moon, and, uh, and we're only about, I'm going to say about 12 days away from the full moon. It could, it could be, like I said, family members. It could be people that are real close to you. It could be like at least seven people, or you could have been in a situation. Seven plays a really powerful, um, uh, uh, you know, it could have been seven years that you've known the person. It could be seven months. It could be seven days. But again, it plays a very powerful, this number plays a very powerful role in somebody being exposed Somebody being exposed again, somebody you may have thought was your soulmate, but something about them is going to come out. But again, you are divinely protected. So, um, and on top of that, as we get closer and closer to the full moon for you all cancers, your intuition become, becomes even more heightened. I'm talking to all cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever it is in your chart, step into that cancer room so that you can pay attention to how you feel. You all of the I feel sign. You're very... Um, tenacious you're very loyal very persuasive sign you all are very sympathetic you all are very encouraging and reassuring very maternal energy you all are called the den mother sign i'm talking to men and women cancers you all are really truly sweethearts you all are empathic you all give your absolute best highly imaginative like i said you don't hold back your emotions all these wonderful things but again somebody really really played themselves right they really something again is going to cause them to be exposed because you were like this for far too long going through just pouring out tears and frustration and and all of it right but you poured out again and when it when it relates to this situation for the last time for the last time just start just go ahead being in a posture of gratitude because here's the thing you don't wish anything we don't wish anything bad on anybody don't even that that's low vibration energy for the even to wish the sad thing about this situation here is somebody may have let their pride get in the way and so they're gonna have to go through 
this journey that they're on um, to almost hit rock bottom in order to recognize just how how powerful of a force you were in their lives. A lot of times people, um, especially if they had any issues with, you know, their mom or there's some kind of maternal situation or whatever, and they were looking for that, they may not have even known that they were looking for that in you. They had just been searching for it, right? And, and, and I'm not giving anybody a free pass cancer, but you, it was like you got caught in a crossfire because you all are very maternal anyway, you know, um, very receptive to energy. You pick up on energy very well. So something in you gave them exactly what they needed. But again, something about them is going to be exposed. Something about them is going to be exposed. And for you, like I said, just be in a posture of gratitude. They have really been thinking about you, Cancers. They really, really want to come back into your space. But I'm telling you, don't do it. Because eventually, this is going to fall by the wayside for you. Watch, you're going to start saying, it really wasn't even that deep. At first, I thought it was that deep, but it wasn't. It was intense. Now, this is something that came through, you know, with some... It's like you kind of sort of... Cancer, it's like you flux, you go back and forth with these emotions, with this energy, right? This manipulative energy. Like, some days, you almost feel like, okay, it's really not that deep. Let me get out of my head space. And then some days, it feels like there's like a ton of... Like, you've been hit by a ton of... Or hit by lightning. That's how intense it feels. But I do see that it, it, it closer and closer we get to the full moon and things are exposed about that energy... That, that feeling, that tricky relationship is going to fall by the wayside and you're going to feel rejuvenated again because you're going to see things at a higher frequency. I see you going higher as they're going lower. Things are not going to go well for them at all. So whoever it was who thought they were manipulating you really seriously played themselves cancer. They really, really did. And so, but for you, you're going to feel like a burst of energy, like a teenager again. That's how your energy is going to feel. So you all are making it through a cancer. You're really, really making it through it. Don't get don't get upset with yourself. So some days you kind of sort of have feel like you're having a relapse because you're thinking about the person, but it's only because for a split second they were on you all were on the same channel. But I don't I don't see a lot of you all going backwards at all. I don't. I don't see you going backwards to family members who um, hurt you. I don't see you going back to ex romantic relationships there. I don't see you going backwards at all. I see you feeling very happy, very magnetic, very free. Tapping into your divine masculine energy, Cancer, and I feel like I see you feeling like you hit the jackpot emotionally. Because so, for some of you all, it's just been a long time coming. Just like you know, this has been a this is that I'm tired of being in in a tricky relationship. And so, I, I'm, what I'm looking at here in your cards, Cancer, is that a lot of you all are starting to really embrace your spiritual gifts of um, being human lie detectors. Yeah. That ruling planet, a lot of people are starting to understand how powerful cancers are because your ruling planet is the moon. It never goes retrograde. Your feelings are on, I mean, your feelings are on point cancers. And so I see a lot of you all taking your power back by severing ties with energies that leave you feeling confused and drained and like you've been stung by a scorpion and going through all the emotions. And again, some people have just made you feel overly passionate, almost made you feel moody and negative and clingy and unpredictable and suspicious. And so when people tell me that about cancers, I always come back at them and say, look, it's probably because they have other energies around them that's contaminating them because that is not what a high vibrating cancer looks like. Half of your problems, cancer, will be solved if you just sever. I mean, just take that. And, and because your default is to receive, sometimes it's extremely hard for water signs and earth signs to sever ties, like take that divine masculine energy and sever ties with things. But that's how, I'm telling you, half of your problems will be solved. The majority of your problems will be solved if you start severing ties with some people, some energies, some people, places, and things. Like these kind of energies right here. Somebody was sleeping with the enemy. And that enemy had like um, 
generational curses attached to them like their mom was generational curses with her dad generational curses with them and they were just they were actually literally dragging you down into this black hole i mean their energy they just had too much drama and for some reason because you all are such a maternal energy you all felt like okay i have what they need i can nurture them like i can i can make them feel better but i'm telling you cancer it was just mm -mm. Let them go ahead and experience their tower moment. They're going to be so... That's the best thing, actually, you can do for them, Cancer, is to allow that tower moment to happen. Let them go through their tower moment. They're going to actually come out better for it because of it. They're going to come out better. Believe it or not, they're going to come out much better. There's nothing you can do with this type of energy right here. This type of energy will contaminate you and cause you to be scared. Like nerve, like I said, somebody, somebody was like felt like they was going through a, you know, like a situation with a scorpion. You know, just just the intensity of that bite. But I see you focusing on your long term, your long term goals, your dreams, your ambitions, your money. This is what I'm seeing you focusing on, Cancer. I see you about to give birth to something that you have been just really, really, really passionate about. And in this vulnerability state that you're in, believe it or not, it's going to, you're giving something to the whole world, Cancer. So you really don't have anything to worry about. It's like God has God's hands all over your, what you're about to give birth to, like all over your stomach, like right there, something in that pelvic bowl area for every, for, and I'm talking to men and women, something that you've been real passionate about doing. It's like God has got its hands on you, protecting you from from just that hurt and everything and you're not you're not going to feel restricted you're not going to feel bound by anything anymore coming out of that you're learning how to take your power back this strength card is attached to leo and so somebody is really tapping into the strength that they didn't even realize they had this eight right here looks like the infinity symbol so this is an infinite flow of the energy of money for you all which is attached to your gift I see you protecting your gift, protecting your emotions. Your throat chakras are open. I see a lot of you all speaking into existence what you want. So this energy right here could be your family. It could be their family. Even if it's a sibling, you know, you know, they're, um, it doesn't matter who. It could be a sibling. It could be an ex-romantic interest. It could be people at work or whatever it is. But you're in such a vulnerable space. It's like God is saying, I'm going to protect you, Cancer, so that you can give birth to this thing you've always had. It's like overdue for you to give birth to this thing. But you've been mothering. You've been mothering people who turn around and stung you and bit you. But I'm about to give you birth to something, give birth, help you give birth to something that's so pure, it's not going to turn around and sting you. So you had to go through... You had to go through your rebirth, ascending higher. You're, re you're giving birth to your gifts, right? You got to leave these people behind. Yeah, you're taking your power back. And I also see you being very patient with what you're giving birth to, which is nice. Okay, we're going to put these two right here on the same one. Yeah. I see expansion all over the place for you, Cancer. Again, if you all can just come out of those emotions... And really start focusing on what you're giving birth to and leaving all that other stuff behind and stop trying to, um, some some people are like honoring a mother's wish or, or their parents' wish or with their siblings. Some people are feeling like um, I can't leave that person behind because that person is not going to, that person is going to fall without me. Remember, we are not other people's gods. Remember that. Yeah, some people are trying to justify why they just won't sever ties with the person who told you that they, their actions are basically telling you that they hate you. Yeah. So really what you're doing when you stay in relationships after people have been exposed is really sabotaging yourselves. And that to speak deeper to that is something that you're afraid of giving birth to. Like, are you going to keep sabotaging yourself by staying in relationships with people that's just like their actions are saying they don't like you? Their mouth could be saying, oh, I love you, cancer. What they do, they love that maternal energy you have. But their actions are saying, I don't like you. As a matter of fact, I hate you. And those are the people that are going through it. Here we have the four of pentacles. I see somebody being more conservative with their money. Somebody was not only hanging in there with you for your money, 
they were also hang, they were not only hanging in there with you for your maternal instinct and the fact how you were mothering them and how you were caring and loving for loving them. I'm talking to men and women cancers. They were also hanging in there for the money. Mm -mm -mm. They were also hanging in there for the money. But again, that's going to be exposed. That's going to be exposed. The sad thing, okay, I want somebody maybe wondering, did they ever love me? People like this love you the only way they know how to. They're in such this, um, they're in such, they're like in survival, like a person who's in survival mode. You don't really know what they, what their true intentions are. They could seem like they love you all day long, but somebody was dealing with a psychopath or sociopath, right? Who was just used to getting over on people. A new romantic cycle begins. So somebody is going to find their person. A new romantic cycle begins, and it's going to make you feel like you are completely balanced out. Somebody was in a serious relationship with a psychopath, a sociopath, and this kind of energy is so dangerous, and I hate to say this, and this is a trigger warning for somebody, because somebody may have come out of a domestic violence situation, so my apologies in advance, uh, cancers. But somebody was in a relationship with a person who was so dangerous, they would have done something to you or somebody that you love and would have had no guilty conscience whatsoever. That's just how dangerous their energy is. Just just toxic to the core. They're going to have to have a tower moment because the only energy that would get through to them the way they need to is God. Clear your energy field. Clear your energy field and start instantly, the number 10, start instantly manifesting some things that you want. But I see a new romantic cycle beginning for you. And I am so, so, so happy for you because you deserve it. When I look at these cards and I see all the things that you've gone through, you really deserve a new romantic cycle. Now, if you're currently in a healthy romantic relationship, Cancer, that that new romantic cycle means that you and your partner or your your husband or wife are about to it's going to get even better. But if you're leaving a situation and, and somebody may have gone through like the loss of some friendships or family members that they're just no longer and those people are going through their tower moment. But if you're not in a healthy relationship with somebody and you feel like this person really try played me for a fool. Get ready to receive your new person is what I'm saying. If that's what you want. Somebody is really waiting for their right person to come along. This person will be totally, it, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. They'll be totally different. That's why I'm saying clear your energy field because you're not stupid at all. You just have a lot of maternal energy. You are a, you are the, the mother, the den mother sign. This person was in it for money and they were in it for um, they were in it for the maternal energy that you could give them. But I'm telling you, this person coming along will be totally different from them. Not only that, you'll start listening to your intuition, even more cancer, and you'll be able to spot it before that thing even opens up its mouth. That's what I have for you, cancers. Bye.